I boss first. Yeah. Boss first. I'm I am seriously, my heart's pounding. If we hit two energies, we win. I'm scared. Please. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the video today. I play Pokemon TCG offline all the time, but I really miss making Pokemon TCG videos. Even if you know nothing about Pokemon TCG, these are kind of the perfect videos to watch because number one, they're super fun and entertaining. And number two, I drop in little tidbits of information so you can kind of pick up on how playing decks works, how the deck I'm playing personally works, and how the game just functions as a whole. This is before I started filming, the, playing the actual deck today, so hopefully we got some good matchups in here. But I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you so much to my sponsors on any of my TCG videos. Poe Town Store, you all are the best if you want to start playing. PTCGO, the online Pokemon game. Uh, you can open packs online, start your collection, and build decks. So I appreciate you all. And enjoy this video today. All right, squiddly dudes. Today we're playing Chicken Parm. I really wanted some chicken parm when I made this deck. <laughs> I was having a super difficult time deciding on what deck I wanted to play for my next video, TCG video, which is where we are now. And I just kind of fell down a dark, dark rabbit hole. I went through like five different decks until I found one that I kind of vibed with. Uh, Taco actually called me and was like, so what are you doing? What's going on? And I was just like, I'm playing Gardevoir. And he was like, what? <laughs> what kind of rabbit hole did you go down, boo? So that's where we are. My deck plays 23 energies. Okay, let's not talk about it. All right. Uh, <laughs> most average decks play like 8 to 12 energies. Mine plays 23. So as you can see, you can mulligan quite a few times. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. This is actually a fantastic starting hand for us, so I'm quite happy about this. Okay, this person's already spamming us. I don't know why. Um, okay, so this is a great, great, great start. I actually don't even really need to use these quick balls um, at all because we already have two Ralts out, which is more than enough, and we have level ball out for next turn. Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal it, and put it into your hand. This is the perfect card for revolution decks that have baby bubbas. I could, I guess. Huh, do I want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's quick ball out an energy for... Never mind. It's prized. Okay, I do have a Mew, usually, but it is prized. So now we know. Um, two, three Curlias, four Gardevoirs. So one Curlia is also prized. Uh, we're just gonna grab, I guess we'll grab Luminion, just in case we need to use it later. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Fish Boy comes in super clutch when you're in a pickle and need a supporter card, use it wisely. And then, we chill. We're done here. So, we're slowly going to discuss what this deck does, but obviously you can see it's a Gardevoir deck. That's why we have two Ralts out Rod Mal. Uh, so Gardevoir, I was like, oh, people like Gardevoir. are kind of obsessed sometimes, low key. Oh, we're playing against Durant. Wow, I didn't even notice that. For some reason I was thinking this was a B drill. Wow, I'm blind. I just see green card, one prizer, and I'm like, oh, it's a B drill. But no, that is an ant. That is a cute little ant. Okay, so they took away our energy, which is fine because we could just put it back. Um, and then we need to level ball for our Curlia. This is a very pivotal moment, is getting your Curlia out and getting more Curlias out on the bench because check this out. We Mirage Step is what it's called. Grab two Curlias. Normally it could potentially be three, but we only have two. And then wham, shabam, onto the bench they go. Straight onto the bench. So we're playing against Durant if you all are not familiar. This is a mill deck. For each of your Durant in play, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Watch out, they somehow always discard your most important resources. And it gets rid of your cards. So it's just going to start discarding things 
and that is quite sad. If it discards our energy recycler, that could be pretty bad. Um, if it discards our supporters, that could also be pretty bad. So you just kind of want to conserve as many resources as you possibly can because they're going to get discarded. Uh, okay, so they discarded another energy. They hit another crushing hammer on us, which is just... <laughs> I think the first one... It was not a crushing hammer, it was Team Yell Grunt, but then they hit us with a crushing hammer. All right, what did we lose? What did we lose? We lost an Ordinary Rod, bad, bad, and I think another Quick Vol. Shuffle up to two Pokemon and two basic energy cards back into your deck. This is how you recycle your energy and dead Pokemon. Whoops, I mean they aren't dead, they just fainted. I don't really care about the Quick Vol. The Ordinary Rod, I do care about quite a lot. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to attach here. Now we need to start getting Nox, homies. We need Nox, hard knock life. So we're gonna have to discard this energy anyway. So I'm just gonna quick ball it out. Um, oh my goodness, what? Do I need to put down Ralts? No, probably not. This is perfect. Let's use Luminion and then we'll just attach the air balloon. Peony is our homie in this deck. Absolute homie, I will show you why. Discard your hand and search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. This is Peony intensely grabbing you everything you need for your turn. Mm. We're gonna go with two Evolution Incense to get two Gardevoirs out. It's very pivotal. So let's go. Evolution Incense, one Gardevoir. Evolution Incense, two Gardevoir. Bada bing, bada boo. Here we go. Ebulb, ebulb. No. Okay, so we're going to use our ability here. Once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Put the other cards into your hand. Energy acceleration and draw support. Much wow. And, oh my goodness, Boo is a lucky duck. Grabbing energies to place onto Gardevoir here. So now we're hitting 150, and that's really all we need actually to one-shot anything on their bench. So we are going to grab another energy um, to this Gardevoir, and then we also get a Clara, which is perfect too. So now we're knocking out this Durant. Unfortunately, the shovel makes us discard two cards. Ew, okay. It was a Fog Crystal and a Boss's Orders, not the best. We got Mew from the discard pile, which I guess could potentially help us. Uh, but the Durant is actually not going to be attacking us at all, I think. It just discards our cards. So I think if we can... I don't think it attacks us. So if we just continuously conserve our resources and keep taking knocks, I think we might... We might win. It's always nice winning against another one prizer because sometimes it can be quite risky. I, I have about a 50-50 win rate against Malamar with this deck, and that's a tough one. I cannot win for some reason against the baby Charizard deck, though. That one's kind of struggle bus. So I don't even need to use my ability here because I'm already knocking. And it's most likely we're probably going to top deck an energy. If we don't top deck it, it doesn't even matter because we can just use our ability another turn. Clara is going to help us out when, when, if something gets knocked out. I don't think it will, but we're just going to start taking knocks here on these little ants. Get out of here. Call me pest control, homie, because I'm coming for your ants. Okay, I'm sorry. That was bad. Um, <laughs> I wonder if this person actually knows me. They keep using a bunch of emojis, so maybe they do, maybe they don't. So now it's just a race. Can we take four prize cards before they discard all of our cards? Uh, <laughs> that is the question. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. They're, wow, are, they just keep hitting these crushing hammers. Yo, what the, what is going on here? Okay, so now we do need an energy because the crushing hammer hit again. Oof, and they're gonna be discarding four cards because they have four Durants out, which is ew, not what you wanna see. They discard as many cards as Durants are out. So uh, they put Gallarmine here, but it doesn't really matter because I'm attacking with Gardevoir. What did they do to me? No, I don't think it was anything super important. Okay, okay. I guess we could level... We don't have another Curlia, actually. So, we just need one energy. Boom. 
And we drew into a fog crystal for another energy potentially as well. All right. Bye bye. Durant. See you later, alligator. Three more prize cards. Three more prize cards. Come on. We can do it. Okay. Another energy. <sighs> We actually still haven't found another Gardevoir, which is kind of surprising. I'm pretty scared about that. Did they discard them? No, none are in the discard. So they haven't hit our Gardevoirs, but even if they discard our Gardevoirs, we're still okay because we just Clara, retrieve the Gardevoirs, evolve, and we're chilling. Uh, <laughs> so we're not going to run out of Gardevoirs. I'm not really concerned about that because Clara is safe in our hand. You can't discard uh my stuff if it's in my hand oh they're gonna pull old confusion here interesting hmm this could be a dilemma this could be a dilemma i don't play switch and i'm scared now <laughs> um um and i can't retreat because of galarmine we start attaching i guess until we are able to reach oh now we can retreat hmm do i do it do i do it to take the knock? I think... <sighs> uh, I don't want to run out of energy. That's what I'm scared of. But I only need three. And there's six here. Four on a... Four, five, six, seven. So we still have a decent amount. Uh, retreat four. <sighs> that feels bad. Or do I risk it? Can I flip a heads? Let's do it. We're going to risk it. Come on, baby heads. Yeah, baby! Luck is on my side today. Woo! That was scary. That was scary. Okay. <laughs> I don't play a stadium, so I can't even replace that Gallermine. Um, I've never run into this predicament before with a sec, so I'm scared. I am scared. I think we're just going to have to hard retreat. We're, we're going to have to get as many knocks as we can um, with this Gardevoir, and then, I don't know, hope for the best, <laughs> don't discard things I need, oh my god, was that all energies, yeah, that's what I'm kind of scared of, oh, we have another Gardevoir, okay, finally hit one, um, all right, Ooh, god, I don't know, well, we're definitely gonna grab an energy out here to guarantee it in our hand so they can't discard it, uh, I think I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna do it, I'm scared, I'm scared. This is a bad idea, potentially. But we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to retreat. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, they're like, what? Why? I don't know, homie. I don't know if I just made a mistake. Okay, we're knocking out Durant. We, need, we only need one prize card. One prize card. No way they have another Yellhorn, right? Okay, we got an energy. I feel safe having two energies in hand. 10 cards left in deck. I am scared right now. This is <gasps> nerve wracking. <laughs> Come on, baby. Even if they get the discard, as long as they can't yell horn me, like I'm good, right? And even if they yell horn me, I'm probably still good, right? Because there's no way I hit like a billion tails, right? Before I deck out, right? <laughs> I'm a bit scared, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> They're gonna get discard four, my goodness. Okay, we're, we should be good. They discard four, we knock out. Oh! Oh! My heart is pounding. Man, that felt, that felt good to beat a Durant. Durant's decks are kind of like the bane of my existence because nobody likes having cards discarded out of their deck, but I think we played that pretty well. I guess this... This deck works okay against Durant. I feel like we would have a pretty positive win ratio if we went against another Durant, just because um, we don't need very much for our deck to function. Like, we play 23 energies, homie. So <laughs> as long as we get our evolutions and stuff out, we're chilling. Let's jump into another game. We're taking chicken parm for another world here, baby. Lucas Maximus. Let's go, Pikachu, homie. The cutest expression. Okay, we keep winning these coin flips, which I'm about. I have little BB, little BB Mew. Um, oh no, no, not like this. We're starting Manaphy, which is not ideal. Prevent all damage done to your benched Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. He protect, but is bad to start. 
at all. And we actually don't have any way. We don't have any quick ball or level ball. Oh my god, and we're going against Mew. Wow, how did Mew mulligan three times? What? That's good. We'll get three extra cards, but... I don't think I've played this deck against Mew, and I'm just probably already going to take the L on this one. Okay, let's think of some strats. Thank goodness for those mulligans, because we're chilling now. We have what we need to get our alts out um, and attach to it here. So we're going to do that to start. That's it for our first turn. So strats, let's not play Luminian. I don't want to leave anything up to... Uh, vulnerabilities, I guess, on our bench. So we're not going to be playing Illuminian. Ooh, I like this. I like having training court here. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy card from their discard pile into their hand. This is pretty sweet for us. Uh, because that helps my deck quite a bit. Meloetta. Interesting. So they're going to... I mean, I guess I should have expected that. They're going to attack us with a one prizer. Which is scary. Uh, <laughs> hopefully they don't play, like, multiple Malawetas. I feel like they probably do, though. I don't want to turn this into, like, a one prize versus one prize scenario. Because the way this deck sort of strives is, like, two-shotting three prize Pokemon. And, you know, that's it. Taking them out. So <laughs> I kind of need to continue doing that. Unfortunately for us, we're probably going to lose this first Curlia. Um, most likely. Actually, like, 100% likely. We're gonna retreat out of Manaphy here and get our other Curlias out. Uh, we have... Uh, don't like this. I don't like this. We already... We have one in hand, which doesn't help us because we need two of all the Ralts. Obvi. I guess let's Training Court. Might as well utilize that. All right. Let's do our best here. Okay, that's not bad. We still had two in deck. I was kind of scared... Um, about what we had in deck because we hadn't looked at it yet. So, but we have two there. So I'm I feel safe with that. We do have Manaphy on bench, even though I don't think there's anything in Mew that actually attacks bench. So I think we're chilling with that. Mel Meloetta doesn't attack bench, right? No. So something's gonna take out this Curlia, but that's okay because then we are gonna have two Gardevoirs on standby, and then we're just gonna start jamming. I'm very curious to see how this performs against Mew. Obviously, we're one prize deck, so they need to just take consistent knocks and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious to see how this goes. <gasps> Wait, what? I'm sorry, huh? They couldn't knock me out? Get out of here, homie. Oh my god, cake? This is cake? What? Evolution incense? What? For a Gardevoir? What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really hyped. I was expecting to lose that Curlia. Okay. We're good now because we're going to be hitting 150 on this homie. Oh my gosh, two. Don't mind if I do. And we still have the other Gardevoir ability. So the only thing I'm still a little bit worried about, we do have to conserve our resources still because we need to be doing a lot of retrieval with this deck uh, to make sure we still have consistent attackers lined up. So the minute I can get another Ralts out, I'm going to do that. But right now, let's just take this... Bye bye homie. Even with the choice band, they cannot get the knock on our Kaleo, which is great. They were 10 damage short. Oh, feels good. Okay, so we got Ralts out of the prize card, so that's good. We can play the Ralts to bench and then evolve it into Kaleo. Next turn, we have Clara in hand, also very good. Um, I don't think Mew really plays much disruption, so I feel like we're just going to have this consistent hand here, which is great because we have the Energy Recycler, the Clara, when we need to utilize that to put uh, Pokemon from our Discord pile into our hand to re-evolve things, and we're just going to have Gardevoirs here, rolling, rolling, and rolling, <laughs> and we're going to try to see if we can beat a Mew deck. I am happy with this start so far, but I am always scared of Mew just because this deck is disgusting. It works really fast, but it takes like, it takes pretty consistent knockouts and large knockouts. Look, they're taking the mellow out of back out. Oh my gosh. How many times I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? But they don't really need to hit a ton of damage on us. So it's not like they need, like they're chilling pretty much. They are absolutely chilling. 
uh, with this deck right now. And they're going to be taking consistent knocks on us, so we just have to respond in the same way. So we're going to lose this Gardevoir, unfortunately, but we have another Gardevoir um, lined up. So the only question is, what am I going to be needing to knock out? Most likely, they're going to bring this Mew back out, and that's 310. I don't think I can hit that realistically. So we're pretty much planning to two-shot things. I could knock out this Mew V. That would be sick. Oh, actually? Should I do that? Should I? Should I? Do actually? That might be the jam. Now that I think about it. Ooh, because I could Luminion for boss. Ooh, let me get an energy. If if boss is in deck, I don't know if boss is in deck, which is scary. Um, we're gonna play Ralts down. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see if we hit the energy first. Ooh, we did. We did hit the energy. Okay. So, ah, uh, do I play? I don't know if I want to play Luminian though, because then I give them two prize cards. But I also take two prize cards. Ooh, do I want to do that? Oh, God, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go for the boss. I'm just going to go for the casual two shot. So we're going to attach to this Curlia. And do I want to evolve now? Um, Yeah, I mean, I guess. Mm, do I want to use the Clara now? I think I actually might want to wait on the Clara. Because we can't evolve this Ralts yet. We can't, yeah, because I don't need the Gardevoir now. So I'll just make them think I suck and like don't have an attacker lined up, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we are going to hit for 150 on this Mew, which puts us into a two shot range because we would have 300. So we would still need four energies attached, but uh, actually, I don't even know. Are we going to be able to get four energies? Ooh, maybe we should have attached to the Gardevoir. Hmm, I guess we'll see how this plays out. We will see how this plays out here. We might need to be doing some stalling. I don't know. I'm kind of scared now. I may have jacked this up. Mm, maybe I should have taken that knock. I only have one boss. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm feeling like I regret it. Because if I had taken- well, also, like, if I had put Luminian down, they would have to target down the Luminian, which would still leave us with another attacker. So, I don't know. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. So we're gonna have the Clara out to evolve into another Gardevoir, and then evolve, obviously, that Krillia. We don't really have more than that, though. I almost need another Ralts out as well. All right. Ah, uh, we need four. I, I mean, I, I believe that we can get four, but I'm also just nervous about it. I don't know, because we need two. I don't know. That's tough. That is real tough. We're definitely using this energy recycler in a second here. All right, let's go Clara. We're going to do both, of course. Grab Curlia. Grab Guardy. Grab this Guardy. Grab two energies. And then, I mean, we're just going to energy recycler as well to just get our hopes up as much as possible. Okay, we attach here. We're gonna energy recycle, even though it's only for three, but we also, oh, well, they got rid of training court, but we also did the Clara, so it kind of was the same. All right, two, two, two. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that was scary. Oh, <laughs> how did that just happen? I don't know. We got the knock. Whoa! Okay, now we just need to take out two prize cards. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. Ooh, and we got a Gardevoir out of the prizes. Yes. That is awesome. Okay. This is still, like, super scary. Um, but we do, we did save the boss. As long as it's in deck, which I guess it could potentially not be in deck. But we do have the Gardevoir for next turn. And we do have the boss, but will we have the energy is the question. Because we needed to attach that fourth to the Gardevoir to be able to take that knock. And 
that is scary. So this Meloetta is going to take us out for dinner, most likely, right? 70 damage for each fusion strike attached to all. But yeah, so it's in 140. It's in exactly what it needs pretty much right now. So we need to probably stall a bit, I think is our jam. The only risky thing about that is that if they boss up our only attacker, since we only are going to have one Gardevoir out, if we stall with the Mew, we're still kind of wrecked. So I need... Oh, uh, this is... This is, like, so scary right now. <laughs> I don't know if we can do this! <laughs> Why would they play Power Tablet? They already have the damage. I don't understand. Okay, they only have 10 cards left. My goodness. All right, we're going to put Mew up. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may look at the top six cards of your deck, reveal an item card you find there, and put it into your hand. Draw a support stall in a small naked mole rat. And we're going to need to stall here. Let's Ordinary Rod, of course, do both. <sighs> both of these. I might need to even use the Curlia to get more Curlias out. But this Curlia is in hand, which is what's scary. Uh... Quick Ball or Fog Crystal. Do I have Ralts in deck? I, I should because I play three Ralts and there's only one in discard. If I can get Ralts, that would be kind of essential. Let's go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. We're going to grab a Ralts. Please be in deck. Thank goodness. Okay. We're grabbing Ralts because then we can actually at least have a potential of another attacker being lined up here. Let's also, of course, use our ability. Okay. Ooh, this is... Oh my god. They need, they all, like, literally, like, all that needs a boss. Oh my god. Maybe I attach here. Maybe I attach, oh god, I don't know. This is so scary. Okay, we're just gonna risk it for the risk. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Okay. I, I still haven't even checked if boss is in deck for us. Oh no. No, I'm so scared right now. Help me. Help me. I mean, the Genesect's all we need, and it's 190. Oh, actually, can I even hit that? No, I can. Oh, my... Oh, no, okay, the Mew V's 180. Maybe they won't be able to evolve. Because I only need one more energy, and I can hit 180. I also need the boss with the Luminium, though, and I don't know if the boss is in deck. Why? Why did I not check if the boss is in deck? What am I doing? Oh, my goodness. Now it's just like, well, let's hope for the best. My gosh. Okay, they still haven't evolved to the Mew V. Please don't have a boss. Please don't have a boss. Please don't have a boss. Please don't boss me. Old Cemetery? Okay, that's only if we attach from hand, correct? Two d well, I guess that doesn't matter. No! No! Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, my worst nightmare is coming true. Ooh. Okay, we should have known. We should have known. All right, we're getting Curlia out now. Stat. We're using Clara. Stat. <laughs> we're grabbing... Oh my god, what are we grabbing? <laughs> What are we grabbing? I need the Gardevoir for next turn. I guess I also need a Ralts down. My goodness. This is scary. I think I still have another Curlia in deck. Two energies. This is not good. Golly. That's bad. All right. Mysterious Tail. They have three cards left. Yo, what? I'm sorry, what? Level Ball for the Curlia. Next turn. We're going to attach here. And pass. Can I do that? I don't think I can. I'm only going to have one ability with the Gardevoir. And that's if they don't boss this Curlia. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is it. Can I do it? I need four energy. That means I need two. Oh my god. I feel like I'm going to throw up right now. 
I feel like I throw up right now. <laughs> I also need the boss. Okay, we're checking to see if we have boss. Please have boss. Boss is in deck. Boss is in deck. Boss is in deck. How many energies? 10 energies. We need to hit two. Stop it. I'm so scared. Stop. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay. I boss first. Yeah. Boss first. I'm, I'm seriously, my heart's pounding. If we hit two energies, we win. I'm scared. Please. No! My dreams are crushed! No! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. We have boss. It won't help us. No, we lose. We lose now. No, we were so close. We needed two energies. That's all we needed. I'm crying. I'm crying on the inside. I'm dead. I just needed one more energy. Oh my God. Please don't have a way to switch. I mean, it has, it has retreat, it has free retreat. What am I doing? They all have free retreat. Wow, that was close. Oh my God, I wanted to beat that Muse so bad. We literally were one energy short. Wow. Hey, that was a good game. That was a real good game. <laughs> oh, out of 10, we had 10 energies. We had to hit two. I mean, that was risky. That was real risky. I guess... I could have prepared better for, I don't know, I feel like I played that pretty well, but there was still a few decisions I'm kind of like second guessing, like should we have gone for the MUV, would that have helped? Um, no, I don't think so, because we needed that boss in the last shebang, I suppose. And, I mean, I guess we could have better prepared for like laying down another Ralts or trying to get another Ralts out as soon as we possibly could. They also had that boss against us like right when they needed it. So, wow, that was a good game. That was a really good game. Woo! Well, everybody, I should indeed not have risked it for the biscuit because if I had attached the one energy to the Ralts, I would have had four energies. I would have made it. <laughs> Maybe I attach, oh God, I don't know. This is so scary. Okay, we're just gonna risk it for the risk. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so I was going to throw a third matchup in here. I did play three that day, and the last one was against Rapid Strike Urshifu, which you do have weakness on, so it's very favorable for you. Uh, and we did end up winning it, but this video is already way too long, so I am just gonna throw this out here. But let me know if you wanna see more TCG videos in the future like this. I have a blast making them and editing them, so I hope you enjoyed it. Or come play with me in the Patreon peeps. Uh, we play Thursday nights, we play PTCGO, or webcam play sometimes as well if you have real decks too. Uh, or just come learn how to play or get some help building decks and stuff. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Thanks for Potown for sponsoring this video. And I will catch you all in the next one. See ya. Bow, bow, bow.